Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you the simple steps to making my breakfast casserole. Here I have my sausage and my bacon. I'm gonna start by cooking it in the oven first. And what I did here is prior to putting mine in, I cut up my sausage and my bacon with my shears and just gonna cook them together like this. So now it's going in on 400. All right, now while my meat is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and salt, go ahead and saute the vegetables that will be going into my casserole. So I have some onions, peppers, some mushrooms, and then I also have uh, some spinach and things like that. But for now, we're just gonna saute these. And you just wanna saute them to their around al dente because this still does have to go into the oven. You all, this smells absolutely amazing. So my vegetables are done, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm ready to put our casserole together. Now here I have my eggs. This is about eight eggs and your egg, um, the amount of eggs that you use depends on how much you're making, okay? So for our breakfast casserole, we wanna make enough that we can eat it for three days. I'm gonna add in a little bit of my milk. That's about half a cup, a little less than half. I got a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. So I'm gonna add that as well. And I'm gonna give that a stir. All right, now here's the easy and fun part, okay? So I'm gonna spray my dish here and I'm not making a big one, so that's why <laughs> I don't have a lot, I mean, or a large one here. I'm going to go ahead and add in that meat that I cooked and I like mine nice and crispy. So you just wanna cook yours to the way you like it. I do want that bacon grease in there, honey. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my peppers next, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of my spinach. And I just took my fresh spinach and chopped it up. Now I like to keep my stems on there, but if you wanna take yours off, go right ahead or leave the spinach out. But it's really, really good in this particular dish. And then I'm gonna add in my eggs. And all you have to do, so easy, just pour those babies in there like that, okay? Yes, 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 yes. And the last thing we're gonna do, you all, is add some cheese, okay? And always remember, whatever you don't like, leave it out, okay? And whatever extras you want to add in, feel free. You want to do meatless, leave the meat out. <laughs> Just do all vegetables. There's so many things you could do. You could do a zucchini squash casserole, breakfast casserole with the eggs and everything. Just a spinach, egg and cheese, okay? So I'm gonna add that cheese on there like that and you just add yours at your discretion. And then we're gonna put it in the oven. I did preheat my oven. I changed it from 400 for the meat to 350 for our casserole. I do not want my casserole to be cooking on 400, okay? But you can do yours at the temperature you like. So this is gonna go in. And when we come back, I will show you all the finished product. Here is my casserole. I baked for 30 minutes on 350. So I'm going to allow it to cool. And then what I'm gonna do, of course, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna section out my portions for the next few days for our weight loss challenge. Now my casserole is cooled and they're very easy to cut. If you let it cool, easy to cut. We sprayed our dish so it's not hard to get it out. And I'm gonna let my kids taste some too, because we only need really one piece for each day, unless you wanna do a little more, that's totally up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and take one out. Look at that. Look at that deliciousness, honey. Oh. So I'm, this is gonna be my piece right now. <laughs> and I'm gonna let my kids taste some, but I'm gonna give y'all a close up so you can see. You watch me make it, take away what you want, add what you want or take away what you want, yeah, and add what you like, okay? And I wanna thank you all so much for watching. Ooh, this smells good. And you have a wonderful, blessed day.